The City of God, written by St. Augustine of Hippo in the early 5th century, is a cornerstone of Christian philosophy and theology that seeks to address the profound questions that arose after the sack of Rome by the Visigoths in 410 AD. This momentous event led many to question the providence of the Christian God and the relationship between the earthly and heavenly realms. Augustine's work is a monumental defense of Christianity and a stark critique of Roman paganism and its values. Augustine divides the work into two parts, with the first part consisting of the first ten books, wherein he refutes the pagan accusations that Christianity led to Rome's downfall. The latter twelve books outline his vision of the history and destiny of the city of God and the earthly city. In his understanding, the narrative of human history is a conflict between two societies, the city of God, Civitas Dei, and the earthly city, Civitas Terina. The city of God is characterized by the love of God extending to the contempt of self, while the earthly city is defined by the love of self extending to the contempt of God. The opening books examine and debunk the pagan god's ability to provide happiness or protection, highlighting moral depravity and historical failures despite their worship. Augustine contends that Christianity in no way brought about Rome's decline, but instead offers a path to true salvation and peace. His apology tours through Roman history, punctuating the erroneous attribution of historical success to pagan worship. Using rational arguments and scriptural evidence, Augustine disentangles Christianity from the notion of temporal prosperity, arguing instead for a higher, eternal purpose. Moving beyond critique and into construction, Augustine advances to discussion of the origins of the two cities, their ultimate ends, and the significance of true worship and devotion to God. He traces their development from the biblical sons of Adam, Cain, and Abel, representing the foundations of the earthly city and the city of God, respectively. The earthly city is marked by pride and self-glory, its history permeated by conflict and conquest. In contrast, the city of God, though currently a pilgrim city on earth, is marked by the humility and faithfulness of its citizens, destined for heavenly fulfillment. The city of God is the domain of those fond of eternal truths and the immaterial reality that goes beyond the senses. Its inhabitants partake in the ultimate beatific vision, the direct knowledge and enjoyment of God, who is the source of true happiness. Augustine describes the city of God as ultimately incorruptible and in stark contrast to the earthly city, which, despite its pursuit of a false sense of peace through domination, is subject to decay, division, and despair. Through this theological lens, history is thus interpreted as a drama unfolding in a cosmic battle between good and evil with individual human beings called to choose their allegiance between these two cities. Augustine underscores the idea that while the city of God is eternal, the fate of the earthly city is destruction, however glorious it may seem temporally. In developing this theme, Augustine delves into discussions on various philosophical subjects, such as the nature of God, angels, demons, the soul, and the problem of evil. While grappling with the Manichaean problem of evil, Augustine posits that evil has no substance of its own, but is a perversion of the good. This is a cornerstone of his theodicy, explaining the existence of evil in a world created by a good God. He argues that free will is essential to the human experience, and that misuse of free will leads to moral evil. It is only by the right exercise of free will, aligned with God's will, that humans find their place within the city of God. With an elevated emphasis on divine providence, Augustine reassures Christians that history is not arbitrary but guided by God's unseen hand. The culmination of this history will be the last judgment, when God will bring an end to all earthly cities and empires, judging both the living and the dead. The righteous will be rewarded with eternal life in the city of God, whereas the wicked will face eternal damnation. In the pursuit of elucidating the justness of God's judgment, Augustine discusses the nature of true justice. He contrasts the earthly imitation of justice, often tainted by self-interest and pride, with the perfect justice of God, which is grounded in love and equity. The city of God, embodied by the church, is the community wherein this divine justice is reflected, albeit imperfectly, until the end of time. The concluding books of the city of God are more eschatological and visionary. 
Augustine envisions the ultimate triumph of the city of God, describing a final harmony where the elect will enjoy eternal fellowship with God. As he draws to a close, he reflects on the resurrection of the body, the last judgment, and the new heaven and earth promised in Christian eschatology. Throughout the city of God, Augustine's dualistic view of human society traverses the temporal and the eternal, the sordid and the sacred. He offers a strong apologetic against the criticisms of the pagan world while laying out a comprehensive vision for a Christian understanding of the world's history and destiny. Augustine seeks to direct the hearts and minds of believers to the pursuit of the eternal city, where, under God's providence, they find their ultimate fulfillment and peace beyond the vicissitudes of earthly life. In synthesizing Christianity with Platonic philosophy and responding to the urgent concerns of his time, Augustine's The City of God remains a masterwork of Christian literature, deeply influencing Western thought. Its ambition is not merely to confront the historical challenges faced by the Christian community, but to articulate a grand vision of human destiny and the divine ordering of the universe. Despite the passage of centuries, Augustine's exploration of the nature of the good life, the problem of evil, and the hope for a transcendent city continues to resonate, addressing the timeless questions at the heart of human existence.